And a warm welcome. Our venue today is the Etihad Stadium here in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Lee Dixon, and very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Manchester City, and they face Middlesbrough. Yeah, thank you, Derek. I'm really looking forward to this. Both teams certainly capable of producing some entertaining football. Hopefully we'll get that. Bernardo Silva, number 10. Kevin De Bruyne, one of the complete midfield players in the modern game. Lee, what do you expect we'll see from him in this match? Well, he plays the game as if the ball's his own. He lends it to other players. He's the glue between the team, between the different departments of the team, and he links everything together. Starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson between the posts. Emerick Laporte starts with Rafael Varane at the back. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in central midfield. And leading the line is Sergio Aguero. A look at the starting 11 for Middlesbrough. The emphasis perhaps on keeping things tight at the back, Lee. Yeah, I really like this system. Very fluid look about it. It can be five at the back when you haven't got the ball, but those wing backs can push into midfield to make a 3 4 3 formation. The width supplied by the wingers to a lone striker. It's with Bernardo Silva. De Bruyne. The ball with Rodri. Aguero. De Bruyne, surely goalkeeping of the very highest order. Oh, it was a great shot as well. Great shot, great save. Back from the byline. What an important piece of defending. Deflected behind, corner forthcoming. Corner kick played in. Not to be this time. They've given it away. Sterling takes it forward, untidy in possession. Well, the arithmetic is all very important today. I say that because if they can win this match, then it will guarantee them a spot in the Champions League next term, Lee. Yeah, simple. The way I like it, go out and win the game and you qualify for the Champions League. Perfect. Outrageously skillful. Harry McNair. And you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. And Bernardo Silva losing out to his opponent. He must finish! Easy meet for the goalkeeper. A goal has been scored at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Let's find out more about it from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Tottenham Hotspur. 19 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Thank you, Alan McAnally. It has to be! Terrific block there. <laughs> Little variation on the usual theme. Short. Possession changes hands. The interception there. What a shocking pass, really. De Bruyne now, it's with Joao Cancelo, Rodri, it's with Hakim Ziyech, De Bruyne. De Bruyne, wonderful chance, well fortune didn't favour him, off the post and out of play. Well he's really unlucky, it was worth an effort that's for sure. The pass not finding its target. An 
important interception. Sergio Aguero has it. Not a particularly strong challenge. Shot attempted. A very high degree of difficulty for any goalkeeper. Sheer quality. Quality of the shot and certainly quality of the save. Cutting the ball back. Oh, he's given it. Penalty. And an opportunity now for them to jump in front. He's been admonished by the referee. He's now got to walk something of a tight... Every player's dream. Only the goalkeeper to beat from the spot. But he's put it wide. Well, it's a close miss, but it's still a miss. Wood. Lewis. Reflex action. Yeah, you've just got to come out and spread yourself and hope for the best. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. And it was turned out. So a throw in will be next. And very deftly cut out. Sterling, such a difficult player to thwart. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. What can he do from here? And he's made headway. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. And so it is, the first half story. Really tense battle so far. And now the second half is underway. Fletcher, tackling and winning the ball to boot. I must say, no shortage of space. A City free kick forthcoming. keep his concentration to the maximum and he did potential opportunity for Manchester City to take the lead corner kick it is played into the center of the box well, you can see he was feeling the pressure, but gave it a go anyway. Not close, though. Well, it was definitely worth the chance. Just got the technique a little bit off. Just not looking confident in possession. Promising sequence. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And now with Angelino. Targets to aim at. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on... Running towards goal! He must finish! A one-on-one -on -one situation, and the goalkeeper prevails in the duel. Advantage is always with the attacking player, because he's got the ball. You've got to take the ball off him. He does a brilliant job on that occasion. And now with Angelino. And getting the ball forward is the key for Manchester City here. Will there be any end product? Very comfortable. Can he give them the lead? And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Looking caught. He's in with a chance. And the goal gaping at him. The opening goal, but on the balance of play, who would have expected this? Well, how have they done that? They don't deserve it, but they'll take it. Well, I'm sure you want to see this again. Where is everybody? The defenders, nowhere to be seen. It's an open goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. It's with Hakim Ziyech. 
And news of a goal in the Manchester United match. Alan McInerney will fill us in. It's the second goal for Manchester United. It's been scored by Paul Pogba. The keeper did well to narrow the angle, but he found the back of the net with a fantastically aimed shot. 69 minutes played. And he takes it on. The goal seemed to be at his mercy, but defenders don't always have to touch the ball to have an influence. No, it's that pressure that comes from the defender that makes him hurry his shot close. Well, the coach will be pleased with the midfield area. They've created a lot of chances. Beautifully weighted ball. Now he's got to stay calm. Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Wow, what a lovely goal. The finish had to come after this pass that split the defence in half. Great goal. It's going their way. 2-0. 15 minutes remaining. A goal has been scored at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Let's find out more about it from Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Tottenham Hotspur. 76 minutes played. 2-2. Cheers again, Alan. Well, the shot from that position left a bit to be desired. you just got to hit the target. Let the power down a little bit and go for accuracy. Theme emerging of wasted possession. Into the advanced position. Excellent defending. Well, apologies for having to interrupt you there, Alan McAnally. To confirm, Manchester United have scored in that match. And their advantage at the moment stands at 2-0. McNair now. Wood. Godfrey. Now Saddle. Bennett's with it. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. And five minutes to go. David Silva. Sterling. De Bruyne now. Laporte. That move looked as though it had genuine potential, but it's broken down. And Bennett's on the ball. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. And Bernardo Silva has it. Well, he couldn't quite keep the header down. Goal kick. Rodri. That's it. The referee brings the action to an end. 